Hey guys, welcome uh, to a Mind for Life, a music side of Mind for Life guitar. And we are today we're doing Let's Stay Together, Al Green, a very classic, beautiful R&B song. All right, and we're going to dive right into the song. That's your first chord right there. I'm making a bar across, across the third fret with all of my fingers. And I'm taking my one, two, third finger. This is my first finger. In, in guitar, we, this is one, two, three, four. Okay, so first finger is a bar across. And then I lay down this finger. And that finger to make the chord. This finger is on the fifth fret of the A string. The pinky finger is also on the, on the fifth fret, but it's on the high E string. So that's your chord right there. Make sure all your notes ring out. Take your time to have your notes ring out. So, that's your second chord. I'm taking my first finger, making a bar across the fifth fret, and my third finger is on the seventh fret of the A string, and my pinky, my pinky or fourth finger is on the eighth fret of the B string, right here on this note. All right? All right? So we start out, the, with, it starts out like horns, See, that's your first one. It goes like that again. It goes from me here. Again. Now that's the that's the new chord we do. All right. First finger is making a bar chord across the third fret. Okay, and then we've got the one, two, third finger on the D string of the fifth fret of the D string, and we've got the the fourth finger, the pinky, on the fifth fret also, but that's on the B string, okay? Nice dominant seven chord right there. And by the way, I do have a, I am on another platform where I'm able to give exclusive uh, content, more in depth, get into theory and uh, so on like that. You can see the end card at the end of this video or check the description box for the platform where I can give more in-depth exclusive content. All right, so let's go over that intro again. And back. Okay, and now we jump into what is Okay, that chord is I'm making a bar with my first finger across the uh, eighth fret. That's the eighth fret, and I'm actually building it off the fifth string, off the A string. So my bar is starting from this this um, this particular note right here. Now I uh, this is the eighth fret of the fifth string. Eighth fret of the fifth string. Three, five, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, and 12. So this is the eighth fret of the fifth string or the A string. That's where my bar is starting. And you're gonna go ahead and make that bar all the way across. And what you're gonna do with your third finger, you're gonna do a similar bar. It's gonna be on the D string <coughs> of the 10th fret. Now, this high E, you won't be playing that. Don't worry about that note. It's just, th this is what it is. Nice major chord. A... Now here's one note I play with. I hammer on my pinky right there, give it a suspended sound, and that is gonna that note that's on the 11th fret of the B string, okay? And you just trill that. That's what you see me do. And the next chord is here. Okay. Um, this is all bar chords pretty much in this song. So again, a bar off of the fifth string, fifth string of the fifth fret, the A string of the fifth fret, make a bar straight across. And you're going to take your third finger and go to the seventh fret of the D string and play that note. Leave all the other notes open, play from the fifth string. All right, I'm going to talk about little technique. I don't get 
too much in the technique. I'm, my goal is to give you guys a song and then uh, on the other platform, if you're interested in that, I go deeper into different things. And you can also just take this song and I want you to experiment and expand out on the song, whether or not you go to my other platform. Okay, so here we go. And then we go here. Now this is the major chord off the low E string, okay? That's your B flat right there. So what we're doing is we're just making a bar on the sixth fret of, of from all across, from the low E to the high E, and we're just taking our third, our second finger, and we're putting it down on the G string on the seventh fret, and we're taking our our pinky or fourth finger, putting it down on the eighth fret of the D string, and we're taking our third finger, which is this one, and we're putting it down on the A fret of the A string. So that's your name. So you're going here. Now let me point out a couple things. When you go into this chord, after we're here, and we go here. Notice I slid into that chord. Practice sliding into your chords. And also, instead of just playing the chord this way, that's not the feel of this particular song. You want to sort of break up that chord by playing the individual notes on that chord as well. I did some of that in the intro when I played the song. And then, you know, or you just slide in from a half step. Or you don't necessarily have to carry the B flat, uh, but okay. Now the next chord is a bar again off of the sixth string, the uh, the fifth, the um, fifth, uh, the fifth string on the sixth fret, and we are putting our third finger down on the eighth fret of the D string right there. And what we want to do is play it from here, break that chord up, you know. There's no law that says you can't do this, but when you listen to the record, now here's a trill. We're going to take our pinky and we're going to trill on the eighth fret of the high E string. So. So let's take that first chord. So let's go back to here where we were. So in love with you. Right there. We covered that one. Whatever you want to do. Slid into that is alright with me. And then we do we do this. Okay, so that chord, that first chord, take your third finger and on the D string on the fifth fret, lay it down across the, the, the D, the G, and the B strings, okay? Lay it down right there like that. And you can, you can take this finger and come over and grab, uh, still on the fifth fret, the low E string on the fifth fret. And it's, it, it's up to the uh, how you play it, if you have a bass player or you can tweak your EQ. This particular note does not have to be in that chord, although it does carry that rhythm, the bass. But uh, for me, typically, uh, if I'm just by myself, I, I will hit that sometimes, sometimes I won't. Second, so, so okay. The second chord in that sequence is the same chord as you did here. You just move it lower on the guitar by one, two frets. So you go from the fifth fret to the third fret, right? So you go. Okay. So, and then what we do. Okay. So let's take that whole sequence over where we start from here. So in love with you, whatever you want to do, is all right with me. See? 
Now watch this. You did this. Back here. Okay. So we did these two chords. Now we come back to that first chord we were at, which is F major. We come back to that chord. And again, that's your that's your eighth fret right there. You're making a bar across the A fret, the, the fifth string, and you're laying down your third finger on the D string over. You're not concerned about this noise actually muted. So go back to that sequence. Now here's, here's where we are right here. Um, nice minor seven. What I'm doing is I'm taking my first finger, making a bar again, and I'm making that bar off of the seventh fret of the A string. And then I'm taking my one, two, third finger on the ninth fret of the D string. And then I'm taking my second finger on the eighth fret of the B string. So, and when you look at, and we, I, uh, when you look at these shapes, look at them, you can look at them as a shape as well, because this is movable. Okay, and I go over that in, uh, on the other platform. So here we go. Now this chord is the first chord we, uh, in the second chord we did from the beginning, remember? Why so in love with you? Right there, so in love with you, right there. So when we're, when we're doing our drop, these chords repeat. That's the chord. I'm not going to go through it again, but I would suggest you play around with that chord. Uh, slide into it. Pluck the individual notes. Find your, feel your way with that chord. Okay, so. So after this chord, we go into this little riff right here. Make it staccato. Staccato just means don't, it, staccato means make the notes, notes short. Make the notes short. So you go. You can even mute it, do a palm muting with your right hand. You know, me, I don't prefer that. Um, again, hear the notes. So you go to. Start with your first finger. This is the A string, fifth fret. That's the, uh, the still the A string on the seventh fret. So fifth, seventh, eighth. And that's the last note in that sequence. Fifth fret of the D string, okay? And then you go back into the sequence, but you know, practice going from here. You know, and this was the, the drop repeats. Okay, that's what I'm about to tell you guys. After that riff, we just did that. So you want to make sure that you get this riff in and you articulate each note. And you come back on beat with, and then here. So, so let's go through that uh, sequence from the from the drop in the beginning. Aha! Okay, that's different. So that 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 little sequence. Think of it like like it's two sections and it's split up by the by this riff. And then we start again. It's symmetrical. We go, we did that. We did this. Now instead of going here, remember, from here, this time, we're gonna go here. And guess what chord this is? We did this chord. This is the first chord of that drop. See? So you just do that chord again, and then you go to this chord again. This is the chord we've been doing. This is a chord that's been throughout all, out the song. We've done that, all right? So let's go through that whole drop section again. 
Okay, let's go through the whole drop section. Look. That's what I want us to do. Now we go back here to the first chord. That's, that's your first chord. Let's stay together. That's the first chord of the drop. Loving you when. Weather. Weather. All right, so let's go through that. Let's, that's the beginning of the course that we're in now. Let. That is, he's singing this note. Now, that's the first note when we did, remember when we did the intro? Right? So all we do is we come back to that same chord for the chorus. Let's stay together. Now together is the, the first chord of the drop we did, that drop sequence, remember? Loving you well. That's the second chord of that drop sequence. So we know we know all of these chords already. Let's let I'm just showing you. Slide into some of those chords, you know, make them more interesting. So now let's go whether times time times are good or bad. Happy or sad. So whether times are good. That's the first chord in that, whether times are good. Okay? That's very very nice chord there, that's a major, major seven chord. We could come over here, but we won't be getting that low note. We won't be getting the B flat there. We'll be just. First finger is on the fifth fret of the high E string. Second finger is on the sixth fret of the B string. Fourth finger is on the seventh fret of the G string. And third finger is on the seventh fret of the D string. This form, you can slide that in. You can move that and I'll go over that. I do go over that in, on my other platform. That's a movable. Well, the times are good or bad. Again, we've done a chord like this before. All I'm doing is just laying down my first finger across the fifth fret, then I'm taking my third finger and I'm playing the, the seventh fret of the A string, okay? And this is a chord we've done before. It's just, it's just in a different place. All right, this is what that, that fancy word, that minus seven chord. All right, so I'm taking a, my first finger, making a bar across the... Fifth, uh, fifth fret, and and just going from this way. I'm taking my second finger and I'm playing the sixth fret. You can see that right there of the B string. Uh, there's nothing on that, no fingers there. But I'm taking my third finger and I'm on the seventh fret of the D string. So, so let's go back through that. Whether well, whether well, times are good or bad. That is a chord we did before. Remember, we started out with this chord. This, these things are movable, guys. So that I'm just taking my first finger, laying it down across the third fret from the fifth string, right here, and I'm taking my third finger and I'm making a very similar bar right there on the fifth fret. Okay, and I'm starting actually from the D string with that. And I'm not concerned about this, this note. We want to mute that. So let's go over good and bad, happy and sad. Good and bad, happy and sad. 
and we could so my bad practice you could I want you to play around with that my bad so that's it that's basically the song and then there was this last little transition section before they go back into the verse it's that part and then you go into this chord they do that twice and this is the same chord for good all we do is move it there so go back over the fingering if you need to um, that I explained to you basing it off of your fifth fret right there and just do go back here reproduce that and move it here all right and that's going to get you to really understand that this is movable for those of you who are new to this all right so and then it goes back to that first chord that first that is the the very first uh, chord that we did see that see how that thing repeats so that first chord right there is and then they go back here they do it twice where the times are good bad happy sad and then they go why you know why do people break up oh turn around and and now hey, listen you can just that's a little thing they throw in there off of that B flat major chord to make it uh, to me it just adds more variety to it instead of playing the exact same way they just do that little and what you, all you're doing with that is you're taking your first finger on the sixth fret of the high E and the B string sliding up uh, actually yeah up in pitch a whole step and then going back all right so that's just something a similar song but right there so so if you're this chord you can use your right hand and mute the rest of the strings to, to get that any ringing out so the song just repeats from there, guys. So listen to the song. You have all the chords now at your disposal. Um, I would suggest you practice this sequence, whether times are good or bad. Good, bad, happy, sad. I would suggest you repeat that sequence because it's a it's a very good it's very good changes to uh, practice going in between okay all right so that's it that is let's stay together listen to the song the song basically repeats from there um, take your time go back over the video uh, pause it etc all right let's stay together mindful life peace out